I'm working with two strands of worsted weight yarn and a size 9 millimeter crochet hook. Use a very soft yarn in worsted weight, such as Bernat worsted or at heart, simply soft. Okay, to start this baby sweater, I've chained 19. Double crochet in the third stitch from the hook. and in each stitch of the chain. Okay, I've worked one double crochet in each stitch of the chain. It has taken on a slight curve. At the end of the row, chain two and turn. This chain two takes the place of this first stitch. Make two double crochet in the next stitch. One, two. Make one double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat across the row, making two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet. Repeat that all the way around. Okay, I have completed that row and it has taken on a bit more curve. Now for the next row, I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to turn the work, and I want two double crochets in every stitch, so I'm going to make one double crochet in this first stitch, and I'm going to make two double crochet in the next stitch, and I'm going to make two double crochet in every stitch across the row. So repeat across the row, making two double crochet in every stitch. Okay, I have completed that row, and you can see that our work looks like it's a circle. Now for the next row, I'm going to chain two and turn, and I'm going to make one double crochet in each stitch across the row one double crochet in each stitch like that so just continue around doing one double crochet in each stitch okay I have completed that row and here's how the work looks up to this point so now I'm going to repeat that row one more time I'm going to chain two and turn double crochet in each stitch all the way around Okay, so here's how the sweater looks. So now I'm going to start making the openings for the sleeves. So well, I'm going to chain two and turn, and work back down this way, I'm going to double crochet in the next six stitches, I'm going to skip 13, I'm going to double crochet around 14 for the back, again I'm going to skip 13, and then I'm going to double crochet in the last seven. The reason I have seven here and six here is because this chain two is going to take the place of the very first double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've worked all the way around and I've skipped the opening for the sleeves and I'm down to my last stitches and I have one, two, three, four, five, six and if I weren't experienced at crochet I would think I was done my row. See, there's one more stitch here. So you just have to search for that one spot to stick your hook through and it will be tight and do your last double crochet and if your number of stitches for each row is not working out that usually is the problem right there okay so here's how the sweater looks we've got our openings for the sleeves and now we're just going to do some rows of double crochet in every stitch okay I've done three more rows of double crochets and since this is for just a newborn baby, this is going to be long enough. So now I'm just going to do two rows of single crochet just to make a band along the bottom. So I'm going to chain one and turn, single crochet in every stitch across the row, and then repeat that, chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. Okay, I've gone ahead and made two rows of single crochet, and that will just give a bit more stability to the bottom of the sweater so it won't stretch out. I'm going to begin working the band, and to make the band, I'm going to evenly single crochet from the bottom to the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that.
Okay, at the bottom of the band, I have made one extra single crochet just to turn the corner here. And now I'm going to evenly single crochet. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to single crochet. So I have evenly single crocheted from the bottom to the top. And now I'm just going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to single crochet in each stitch of the row. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way down the row, then I'm going to turn, chain one and turn, and then I'm going to come back and single crochet back up the row. Now I'm going to start making the buttonhole row. So I have chained one, and I'm going to single crochet in the same stitch. And now I'm going to chain three for the buttonhole. And I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch. And this is going to form a buttonhole loop. Okay? Okay, so here's how the band looks, and we have our buttonholes. So now we're just going to attach yarn on the opposite side, and we're going to evenly single crochet the same number of stitches, and we're going to do three rows in total of single crochets for the band on this side. Okay, I've completed that band, and so now you can see that here are our buttonholes, and we can sew the buttons underneath the buttonholes and that will be finished. So now I'm going to progress to finish the sleeves. When you begin the sleeves, this is the first row that we completed as the body. So you're going to pass the hook through both sides, otherwise you'll have a hole here. So pass the hook through here, pull it through, and then double crochet in each stitch all the way around and slip stitch to join. And you're going to keep doing that until you have the sleeve completed. And when you make the sleeves, you're going to have the same number of rows of double crochets, and then you're going to go ahead and finish the band. I haven't done the band on this one yet, but the sleeves usually, when they're folded over, should be the same length as the sweater. So once I finish this band, then the sleeves will be the same length as the sweater. Okay, I have finished the sleeve, and I've done the two rows of single crochet, and I just have to fasten off and I've sewn some buttons on and so now if you make my chunky baby beanie you can have a matched set and I'm going to put the link here for the chunky baby beanie